Yeah. I'm down here at uh, Bolsa Chica. Check out my shirt. That's where we hang out, me and the boys. Bolsa Chica State Beach. About two miles uh, north of Huntington where our, where our church is. That's where I hang out with the guys. We surf out here. And uh, come over here, Billy. <clears throat> here comes one of my buddies right now. Here I want you to be in the, in the video with my, uh, for my, my pals uh, back east. This here is uh, Wild Bill. One of my mainstays. Now here's his car right over here. Bill basically lives down here, but you know, he spent a lot of years uh, serving his country, so, right, Bill? Right. I did my tour. <laughs> Makes stuff like this hat. He's very talented, so uh, we call him Wild Bill. He likes to surf, hang out, and you know, just do that kind of stuff. You want to say something, Bill? Yeah, I'm going to go work on my tiki right now. There you go. <laughs> All right, so here it is. We come out on the weekends and uh, whatever and just kind of surf and sit in the lawn chairs and uh, have some, like, a barbecue sometimes. And I'm kind of like the beach pastor, what they say. So, you know, hopefully we'll influence them, uh, get them in there knowing Jesus. All right, let's go. Well, this is Huntington Beach. Showed you around the city a little bit and uh, some of where we meet at the church. So, just want to kind of share my heart, you know, about what we're here for and what we're trying to do. Uh, just trying to start a new, you know, a missional type church. Spent a lot of years in the traditional type, but I just feel God calling me here to this city and, and all the people that are around. I try to really involve myself in the community the football team you know the, my daughter's a cheerleader I got my beach buddies my Starbucks buddies and just trying to do the whole missional thought like Jesus did get out there in the community and make some relationships I spent so many years just doing the church stuff just nothing but church stuff church people and I have found myself realizing I don't know anybody who's not a Christian who, who I have one friend that's not in the ranks of Christianity and so I felt convicted to get out there and kind of break through some struggles personally I had with the inferiority and just start hanging out down at the coffee shop and making friends and you know it was tough at first talking with people who uh, use the F word in every sentence and not being all up in their face about it but you know uh, it's just something you got to kind of put to the side and, and, and be Jesus to people and, and so the example I, I see from Jesus is that you know he came he left his church heaven and he came to this earth and he he kind of went somewhat by the religious temple place and he hung out at Matthew's house. That, that's kind of the concept that, that I'm looking at and what I want to build is that, you know, we're involved with people that are not a part of this yet. I mean, that's got to be our reason we exist. I think it's good to, to have nurture in the church and, and, to, and to bless people and to lift people up that are a part of the body. But I think the main reason we got to exist has got to be that missional apostolic view where, where it's about reaching those who aren't a part of this yet. I mean, that's the whole reason Jesus came, yeah, is, is to, for those who are not yet a part of the kingdom. And so, and so that's one of, I want to be the main goal of what we do, why we do, and and so we, we really stress that strongly among our group of uh, little band of believers that have started the uh, Experience Church in Huntington Beach. To get out there in your where you work, in your neighborhoods, and, and where you hang out, and just build a relationship with people. I mean, get full of Christ and then just live your life around them. I mean, it won't be a matter of time before they start looking to see what is in you that, that they need in their lives. So, you know, in the day we live in, we don't have a strong voice of Christianity. It's not a Christian nation anymore. We, we have no voice, so we got to know. My thought is we got to know the language of the gospel. we got to know the language of the world around us, and we got to be able to translate it into what they can understand. So that takes a lot of time, uh, a lot of sacrifice, a lot of giving of yourself. The front door of church is no longer the church steps. It's it's the community out there, and so we got to approach it in the sense that we've got to get ourselves involved in. It's like a missionary. You go to a foreign country, a country, and you, you learn the language, and you get involved with what they do, how they do, and then you you influence them to look at your life and become a part of the kingdom and the community of faith that we're a part of. So that's what our goal is. We want to build. Uh, you know, small groups among our church and, uh, and have awesome times of worship where we can bring people and show them how we interact with God and connect with Him and, 
and have a passion for him. And so it's a, it's a challenging thing to, to mix spirituality and, the, and the, the, the move of the Holy Spirit into a setting where you want to have just in a relational connection with people. But that's, that's what God's called us to do. Tell the 